Hello, this is the DIY Magician with another episode of Dismantle It, where we take something that is broken or unusable, dismantle it, and show you what's inside. This episode, a VHS tape rewinder. Oh, that brings back memories. See you soon. Here it is, the VHS tape rewinder. This is one of the fancier models because once you put a tape on it and you wanted, say, to rewind it, to watch it again later, you would put it on that way. If you wanted to fast forward, because tapes take a long time to move both, both ways, you could turn it around like this and fast forward it, apparently. That's what it says on the machine here. Uh, the cover would cover up the tape inside. To give you an idea, it looks like it uh, could go all the different directions you see there. There was a, a plug in the back for the power, but it looks like there was also a place for four C batteries right here, and you could uh, run it on a battery power as well. Okay, so this was one of the fancier ones. This is a VHS tape rewinder, and we'll see how it works in just a moment. All right, four screws later, and the little door right here and the batteries, and the apparatus should come apart right now. So what I'm going to do is start at the back and lift right here. Oh, <laughs> it's going to work. Right there, there is the bottom of the machine here. Now, it doesn't look too sophisticated. In fact, it has a motor right here, a little tiny motor that's type that you'd find when you go to uh, the old um, uh, uh, Radio Shack. Okay, and it, it's wired over here. It just sits right in that little spot right there. It looks like it had a spot for two motors, and maybe this particular model didn't come with two motors. So we're going to take this right here. We're going to undo the back of the electronics. That's pretty snug. But that's the electronic board there. That actually tells it to do what it needs to do at the time it needs to do it. So we're going to take that one off. Again, this, this one is pretty straightforward. In fact, it's a little even easier than so far than the actual VHS tape that I took apart a, a while back. That right there kind of just spins. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe it's ready to come out. Again, with circuit boards, they're very, very sharp. Now, this one here, I think I will need to maybe put a little pressure on. I don't know what's going on because it's not, it's just spinning. It's not doing much of anything. Maybe, maybe it just pops out. I hope we don't, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're here to, oh, there it goes. We're here to dismantle it. So, we got it. There's the circuit board. It's still attached to the motor. It has uh, wires that go through to the inside to this little spot right here. So what is that spot there? Well, that must um, power up the motor. I don't know. Let's see, let's take the, uh, the door off. I think the door is one of those where it just kind of pops off when it's the right spot. Maybe not, it's just the door. And look at this, okay, so we've got that. And then we've got the wires that go uh, right here to the battery spot right there, so all the battery terminals. So let's do this. Let's do it right and remove all the gadgetry. There's one piece. There's another piece there, okay. And then these look like they're just wired in, so I think we're just gonna give a little pressure on those and those should just come right out, just like that. Okay, there's a little bar right here. I don't know, that just is kind of a uh, partition there. There is a, a wheel right here that actually is the part that spins the motor, so that little disc comes off right there, okay? And my guess, if we're lucky, is that the little spindle will just come right out. And that might or might not. Well, it's in there and it's probably got some sort of little pressure fit so that it pops through. But speaking of popping through, we're just gonna tap on it. And maybe, if we're lucky, we'll get it to work. Here we go, one, two, three. Or not you get the idea these little things here are stuck on and maybe oh maybe 
We'll put a less powerful pressure on it here and get, oh, there it goes. That slips right off, so it was the other way around. So this part here slipped on there and it was pushed in from the back, so it wasn't gonna bang through with a hammer. So that's that. Uh, you see the little spot right there. And then uh, there's another one here. I think this just spins on its own because I don't see anything else. So what we'll do is again, we'll take our screwdriver and try and get that to come out. Just like that. Again, I think it's just spinning on its own free will because it, it, it just, that's what it has to do. And, ah, yikes. Be careful when you're using screwdrivers and the implements like this because they will slip. And if you're not careful and you have your fingers or something other other precious part of your body in the way, it will get hurt. So that's that. Okay. And then I think that's pretty much it. There's something else that fell out. I don't know. Oh, there's that little metal clip in the back. Okay. And that's it. Right now... It looks like we have a fancy face mask, the little eyes right there, boom, boom, and then a little visor. See, that's how you could do it. You could have a, a, a visor for a space uh, helmet, something like that. I don't know. But there it is, the inside of a tape rewinder. All the circuitry, all the power, all the little buttons here and there, and of course, the little motor right here. Uh, these are things that I'll probably give to my kids and they'll play with and, and try and wire up some sort of little fun thing. Anyways, here it is. We did it. We dismantled it, a VHS tape rewinder. My name is the DIY Magician. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video from the DIY Magician, you also might enjoy joining our Facebook group. That's right, the DIY Magician Facebook group. Or you can visit our artist page. That's right, the DIY Magician artist page on Facebook. Or if you want to, please subscribe to the YouTube videos and you'll see all the up-to-date videos as they come along. Thank you again for watching the DIY Magician video.